<clears throat> For hundreds of years, cultures have enjoyed this tasty, healthy, and easy to make beverage, but it really hasn't been until the last 20 years or so that smoothie has really grown in popularity here in the United States. In this speech, I'll demonstrate to you all the process of the process necessary that, into making a smoothie, specifically a strawberry banana smoothie. I am credible to speak on this topic uh, due to the extensive research I have done as well as the first-hand experience and practice I've, done, I've had in making smoothies. First, I'll talk about all the ingredients and gathering those ingredients that go into the smoothie. Second, I'll demonstrate making the smoothie itself. And last, I'll elaborate on the multiple benefits that, go, that come with drinking um, healthy smoothies. So the first part of the demonstration is really gathering the ingredients. And this recipe is my own personal rendition of one that I found on gimmesomeoven.com. Uh, so the first thing you'll need is about a cup of strawberries, which I have here. Second, you'll need half of a banana peeled. <clears throat> Third, you need a cup of milk. Any kind of milk is really fine with this, with this recipe or any smoothie. 1%, 2%, <coughs> skin, almond, soy is whatever your preference is for any kind of milk that you like to drink. Um, along with this recipe, there are a few optional ingredients. Some people like to use ice when you go into a smoothie. For this rendition, I will not be using ice. Uh, there's also a honey or sugar sweetener component, which is also whichever you want to use. I have a few sugar packets here that I'm just going to use in order to sweeten up this smoothie. Um, and then last, you'll need a blender and a cup. Luckily, I have a Nutribullet, which is kind of two-in-one. So now that I've gathered the ingredients, I'll now go into demonstrating uh, actually making the smoothie. So the order of adding the ingredients really isn't important. The way I'm going to do it today is just kind of how I like to do it. So first, you just add about a cup of the strawberries. You could either have them frozen or fresh. Either way, it really doesn't make a difference. Uh, I just like to have mine fresh. And you could either add them whole, which I have some here like that, or have them sliced. I like to add them sliced just because it's easier when you blend them together. It's just faster and easier for the blender. So you can go ahead and just add as many as you want. I'll add everything that I have in here. And then second, you'll add the half banana. I also went and just sliced them previously. You also have them peeled, and you just throw that in there. And just a fun fact that I got from SmoothieHQ.com. It was really the 1900s invention of both the blender and the refrigerator that really brought the smoothie to the United States beforehand. It was really just the Mediterranean and Eastern cultures that used pureed uh, fruits as a drink. So now you can go ahead and just add the milk, about a cup of milk, um, but like I said before, it really doesn't matter uh, what kind of milk you want to use, it's really your preference. And then along with this, you can go ahead and add the sugar or the honey, whichever you want to use as a sweetener. I'm just going to go ahead and add the sugar. And I usually just start with a little bit of sugar, just because if it's too sweet, you can't necessarily take away sugar. But if it, isn't, if it isn't sweet enough, you can go ahead and add more sugar and more honey to make it sweeter. <clears throat> Another fun fact that I got from uh, Healthy Smoothie HQ is that really prior to refrigeration, smoothies were specifically to the fruits and vegetables that were in season because there's no real way to store them or keep them fresh. So now we can go ahead, well for me it was just tie the blade down to the Nutribullet and put it in and then you go ahead and just pulse and puree until it's all smooth and fully combined and if it is too thick you go ahead you go, go ahead and check if it's too thick you just go ahead and add more milk to thin it out and if it's too thin you could always just add more fruit or more ice if you're using it and that will that'll thicken it now that I've demonstrated the process of making the smoothie I'll now just touch on a few benefits of drinking smoothies <clears throat> Drinking smoothies has really shown a multitude of health benefits over the years. According to an article by Caitlin Galler Unti on OneGreenPlanet.com, smoothies provide a lot of energy. There's a more fruit and vegetables that are in your diet, therefore there's a lot more fi fiber, antioxidants, and more nutrients in your body. And more importantly, it's just more fun. Uh, in an article by Laura Michelle on HealthyEating.com, it says that smoothies really act like a meal replacement so that it keeps you full while also staying healthy. And with a smoothie, 
you could also choose what you like so that you're more excited and more willing to drink this and have this more, on a more consistent basis. In conclusion, the purpose of this piece was to demonstrate the process of making a smoothie. First, I talked about gathering all the ingredients. Second, I demonstrated how to make the smoothie. And last, I elaborated on the benefits of the delicious drink. Um, just some food for thought. Uh, smoothies have really been important in a lot of different weight loss um, techniques. And there's been a lot of stories from couples, uh, men, women, just all individuals. And this is an easy way to kind of just stay healthy. And I hope that this demonstration helped you all. Uh, so just want to drink more smoothies in the future. Thank you.